we have a spherical shell of charge Q and the charges are all distributed over the surface of the shell evenly it has a radius of capital R and the question is what is the potential inside and outside of this spherical shell so we will start by picking up a, a point on the outside of the shell and it's called this point P and it's have this distance from the point P to the center of the shell as small r and the, uh, the definition of the potential at this point P is given by this line integral as we have discussed in the lectures and this line integral from the point P to infinity of the electric field created by this shell. So we know that the electric field created outside of a shell is just the uh, electric field of a point charge of Q and we put this expression for the electric field dot product with dr well <clears throat> we will take this line integral over this line starting from point P on a straight line going to the infinity on this <coughs> line that passes crosses from the uh, center of the sphere so it's easy because we have k, q, uh, they are uh, uh, constants and can be taken outside the integrals. We have only, we have dr over r square inside the integral. And 1 over r square integral is just minus 1 over r. And minus 1 over r, and evaluated at infinity and uh, r, is just 1 over r. So k, q divided by r, where r is the distance of the point p to the center, and if the point P is outside the shell, this is the potential of that point. Next, <coughs> we will take a point inside the shell, okay? And again, let's um, call the distance to the uh, center as small r, but this time r is less than the capital R, which is the radius of the shell. So again, we will use the same uh, definition. It will calculate the potential by using the line integral of the electric field from this point R to the infinity. But <coughs> we have to uh, break this integral into two terms because uh, when you go on this line starting from uh, point P inside uh, to the uh, far distance, you crosses this uh, special border, border of the shell, at r is equal to capital R. So we break the integral into two parts, when first take the integral from R to the capital R, okay, which is the radius of the shell, plus uh, from this capital R to the infinity. So we have two terms now. Why do why do we have uh, to break up the integral into two pieces? Because the electric field is not the same everywhere. For the points inside the shell, we know, we already uh, calculated this by using the Gauss law, the electric field inside a charged shell is equal to zero. So the contribution from the first term, first integral, will be zero because from R to capital R, the electric field inside the shell is zero. So we are only left with uh, the second integral, and this integral is, again, easy, just like this one. It can be taken uh, very easily. It is just k times, or 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0, q divided by the capital R. So <clears throat> this is uh, true for every point inside the shell. For every point inside the shell, the potential is just this term is kq divided by capital R because the electric field is equal to zero wherever you, wherever you go inside this shell if you have a, a if a charge in your pocket wherever you go inside the shell you will not experience any force if you don't experience any force that means that you don't change the potential and the potential just the same as the potential of any point on just the surface okay so this is the uh, uh, graph of the potential for all points 
inside and outside the shell. So from R is equal to zero to the capital R, where the uh, uh, this is the radius of the uh, shell, the potential is just constant. It is a constant value of this kq divided by r. And right from outside, it drops as 1 over r to the infinity. So at infinity, uh, the potential is again 0. You can easily check because for all points at, located at infinity, the potential is always 0. So you can check this from, from this expression.